who was Washington Gladden and why did he care so much about labor rights? Find out in this first episode of our new series, Three Minutes in UCC History. Welcome to our new series, Three Minutes in UCC History. Given the linkage between Unitarian Universalism and the United Church of Christ, we thought it was about time that we start to investigate various historical tidbits from our post-split history. So on to today's episode. Who was Washington Gladden and why did he care so much about labor rights? Well, it could be because he was a, or better stated, the founder of the social gospel movement. But how did this come about? During the depression of 1873, specifically in the years 1875 and 1876, Gladden, who had been ordained about 15 years earlier, found the pews occupied by unemployed workers. Being the observant guy that he was, he began engaging with the plight of the workers. His initial efforts at articulating what would become known as the social gospel, at least as it related to workers' rights, were not particularly deep in nature. But as he continued his work, his elucidation in this area grew, including theological writings entitled Applied Christianity, written in 1887, and Social Salvation, written in 1901. Truth be told, the social gospel was based more in social ethics than theology. This is also a theme observed in the works of Catholic workers' rights advocates in the early 20th century. So the idea that religious leaders can draw from non-theological sources in their justice work was not unique to Gladden or the other folks active in the early social gospel movement. And it is a truth today as well. Along these lines, Reverend Gladden would preach two sermons each Sunday when he was pastor of First Congregational Church in Columbus, Ohio. The first, given in the morning, was a more typical sermon centered on living life as a Christian. The second, given in the evening, was centered on social justice issues of the day. And on Monday each week, the Ohio State Journal would publish his justice sermon from the evening before. Workers' rights have been advocated for by people across a wide range of religious traditions, and in many different ways and formats. And Washington Gladden was but one of these folks. But he is a part of the legacy of Congregationalism, and that is today's introductory episode of Three Minutes in UCC History. Thanks for watching. If you find our topics interesting, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that alert button.